but you see coming down the hill, there's no rear tires on, the, on this power crawler. We have a, a full rubber track. Inside this track is woven a, like a piano wire. And on this one here, I'm not sure the feet, but on a larger model, it's like a mile of wire. This has probably got about a half to three quarters of a mile of wire in each track. And that track, it, that's what adds the strength to the track inside. But it is pure rubber. It has a track similar to a regular, uh, the track look like a regular tractor, the browsers. Underneath here, we have regular rubber lugs that drive. We use a split sprocket back here with roller pins underneath. And the reason they roll is they stop all the friction from carrying on the drive lug underneath here. If they didn't roll, the friction would tear them up. The grease points here, and even for maintenance, this is a split sprocket so you can drop half of it off. You just maintain the track very easy, very simple. Track tightener down here on the front end, and we have two bogey wheels in here. These wheels all run in, in uh, hydraulic oil. They're all sealed inside. So once they're set up, if they don't get a leak, don't worry about it. There are floating seals in there, so they'll last a long time. 